Hey guys, quick a vlog, a little motivational vlog for people who are trying to learn software development, maybe the web stack, maybe you're learning Python, maybe you're learning JavaScript, who knows? Maybe it's just CSS, which could be a real pain to learn, especially CSS layouts. Let me lay down a few truth toids. I don't even know if that's a word, I just invented that. A few factoids, a few facts about learning to write code and to be a developer. First of all, for most people, for most, it's a bit of a challenge because when you're learning how to code for the first time, your first language or your first set of languages, you're literally learning how to think in a different way. No exaggeration, you're learning how to think in a different way. If you look at, let's say, JavaScript programming, when you're doing something called creating a variable, think about it, the way you assign variables the way you uh, build up functions, build up classes, it's very strange. It's very esoteric. It's a very cryptic way of looking at things. And that's just the way it is. Now, maybe that's why nerds who are super nerdy have trouble communicating with people because they think in a different way. Anyhow, if you're having difficulty and you're learning any programming language, any coding, any type of development, it's normal for people to have difficulty the first time you're doing it because you're learning literally a new way to speak, as I just said, not to speak, to think, as I just said. And as a result, you're going to hit some roadblocks. So here's some tips. Number one, as I said in other videos, when you're learning anything new, really, frequency is more important than the amount of time you put into it. So let me translate that into non-nerd the number of times that you spend trying to learn something, number of times a week, is more important than how many hours per week that you put into it. So you're much better off if you're learning something new if you put 20 to 30 minutes a day, five days a week, than if you did, you know, 50% uh, more time just twice a week. You, know, you do the math, you know what I mean? So if you put in two hours twice a week, it's better to put in uh, half an hour three times a week. That a consistent exposure tells your brain that this is more important and that it should devote some more resources to learning this stuff. Also, when you start hitting roadblocks or you start getting headaches when you're trying to learn something, take a step back, drink some water, drink water lubricates, you know, drink some uh, coffee to helps with your ability to think, that's been proven, and well, if, if you can drink coffee. Drink some water and relax and take a break. If you're starting to get headaches, your brain is tired and needs time to recuperate. Just like if you're a bodybuilder and you're lifting weights or you're training really hard and your muscles are sore the next day, the sore muscles are telling you, hey, you push the muscles pretty hard, you gotta give the muscles time to repair and heal themselves. So if you're getting headaches, you're hitting a wall with the coding and the programming, that means that you have to just give your brain some time to repair and heal itself. To literally, I would imagine the brain is literally creating new neural pathways, new uh, uh, structures in its in itself to handle the new type of information, the new way of thinking that you're introducing. Right. So let's say you've done my HTML course and you started to see it and you've done that pretty well. Most people can get through that pretty easily. And you get to the CSS and you start getting into some of the more advanced CSS selectors and it starts tripping you up. That stuff can trip you up. That stuff can trip you up. Even stuff in the HTML can trip you up, like, like uh, hyperlinks and so on, and like directory structures. That can trip people up. So if you ever hit that wall, where you're like, ah, it's, I got a headache, I'm tired, I'm frustrated, I'm not getting anywhere. Take a break, it's okay, take a break. Don't give up, you take a break, you go exercise, go biking, go running, do some exercise, whatever exercise, drink water, relax, come back at it uh, two days later. Give your mind a chance to assimilate the new information, the new way of thinking, and come back to it. And what you're gonna see a lot of times that things that two days ago were really hard or giving you headaches, all of a sudden it's like, oh, there it is, it's so easy. And you come back and if it's still hard, you're still having difficult, difficulty, just do that 20 minutes, 20 minutes. That's what's cool about the Studio Web systems that you can 
click log back in takes you right to where you're going you watch a nice short video of six minutes no 25 minute video that's going to put you to sleep and then you do the quizzing you write the code out and you do your 20 minutes and if it's still giving you a headache take another break another day off and then come back and just again frequency remember that frequency of exposure the more often you expose yourself even just 20 minutes every other day or 20 minutes a day is better than one one day where you spend three hours that frequency is going to give a signal to your brain that this is important better learn it come on buddy hurry up there you go so i hope that gives you motivation well here's the last point of you last point to consider with regards to learning new things if it's easy if anything that you learn is easy then it's going to be cheap it's going to be common because everybody's going to be able to do it and it's going to be less valuable if something is hard that means you're doing something that's that's valuable something that has value and that's why to this day people who can write code and do good web development they make a lot of money there's a reason why coders are paid a lot of money versus say working at mcdonald's or being a, a waiter or something there's a reason or a bartender there's a reason they make a lot of money is because there's this hurdle you got to get over and once you get over it's really easy trust me once you get over it's much easier it's much easier but you just got to give yourself that chance to get over that hurdle i know all about this because i faced this myself i didn't come from i didn't come into programming back in the 90s from a point of view of being a total nerd i was the opposite i was actually more of a design centric type of guy my background was graphic design and psychology and so on not code not engineering math i was terrible at math but nonetheless i pushed through it pushed through daily exposure consistent exposure write, write code write code make mistakes don't be afraid to make mistakes write code give yourself rest and all of a sudden it just it starts clicking all of a sudden you're gonna wonder why is it so hard why was this so hard just I hope this is encouraging because I know some people can get a little depressed, but uh, once in a while, again, that's normal. Always think about this. Whenever you're doing something that's hard, that means it's worth something, and that means it's worth doing. If something is easy, don't put too much value into it. It's, it's easy. All right. Um, I hope that helps. Ciao.